Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali. In this video, we will learn how to filter the raws or unnecessary data which we don't want to put in our Power BI. So I have opened a file and imported which is available in this particular video folder uh, related to the HR data set. And let's say this is the data set and we have not loaded yet into the Power BI. We have just imported the data set and click on transform data to get into the Power Query editor. Now, for example, uh, before loading the final data set into the Power BI, uh, in the Power Query here, we don't want, or let's suppose if I exclude one function or a business department from this particular column. So for example, we don't want operations to be added. So I will open this filter menu, just like you do this kind of things in Microsoft Excel filter menus. So if I just uncheck the operations and if I press OK, so now operations is not visible here. Now this doesn't mean that it is being uh, hidden. It's a kind of a hidden, but when I will load this, when I click on close and apply, and this data will load into the Power BI interface, I will not see the operations there. So it, it a kind of an excluded data. Um, when you filter anything from these columns menus, when you uncheck anything, either it's a textual value or a number value, and you press OK, this means that once you load the data in the Power BI, that particular field will not be available there. Okay. And if, if you later on you want to include, again, you have to come back to the Power Query and check mark so that it should be included in the data set to use in further dashboard analytics, right? So here, this filtering option means that it is temporarily hidden and also excluded when we uh, take this uh, data model, when we take this data file to the Power BI interface, okay? So this is the concept of filtering. 